you are there to bring light where there is no light we thank you because of this wonderful day that we've gathered here so that we can be able and we have learned from the medics we thank you because of those who tirelessly do research even tirelessly going to school for many years so that they can be able to learn on the issue to do with sicknesses and diseases in all humankind even in the animals and Jehovah God your healing comes even after they treat we thank you because of each and every one of them who have attended today visitors and those who are members of this church may you continually continue to bless them we thank you worship and praise you for it is in Jesus holy name we pray and believe let us appreciate ourselves as we sit down we also appreciate the praise team thank you thank you thank you i take this opportunity to thank god for yet another opportunity for me to come and bring the word of god and especially at this sunday where we are celebrating a, our medical sunday uh, this is healing ministry and that is why i put my message to be healing ministry i also want to thank the archdeacon for the opportunity as you have heard from our, our reverend Fimby, he's on leave and uh, Reverend Stewart at the same time and we thank God for each and every one of you allow me to introduce uh, my dear wife to stand and wave the congregation thank you thank you and God bless you mightily for studying with me on 9th of November we celebrated our 30, uh, 32nd anniversary of our wedding and therefore I really feel uh, good when I look back and uh, see where we are coming from and I believe we are going far praise the name of the Lord with our two boys who are adults so today I thank God for this opportunity yet again and I said I am speaking about healing ministry. For those who do not know my name, it was mentioned, Reverend Francis. And by the grace of God, I serve this church. From the Old Testament leading in Exodus chapter 15, starting from verse 22 to 27, the Israelites were in the desert of Shah. The Israelites traveled about three days without even finding water. Then came, they came to a place called Mala. They could not take water because it was bitter, although there was water. And when Moses cried to the Lord, there was a solution. The Lord showed him a piece of wood, and he threw it into the water, and it was fit for drinking. So the Lord said to the Israelites, if you listen carefully to the Lord your God and do what is right in his eyes and keep his decrees, I will not bring you any of the diseases I brought on the Egyptians for I am the Lord who heals you. So the scriptures is talking about that Israel reached a place where they could find water after three days. But the water was not good for consumption. And God provided a solution. Because if they could have taken the water, either they could be dead or sick. And that is why God was trying to say that if you obey me, 
if you follow my decrees, I will not bring into diseases. So what do we learn from these scriptures, first of all, is that many a times when we have diseases, it is part of disobedience. After disobedience, then something comes on our way, as we could see at the time when the Israelites were in Egypt. And I can also add and say, some of the diseases come because of our negligence. And our dear uh, sister doctor has talked about that. If one is sick, God is our healer. And that is why we call him Jehovah Lapha. Sickness is described by God the Father as captivity. It is also described as, uh, by God the Son as the bondage. It is, uh, you can check in the book of Luke as we read the gospel according to Dr. Luke, uh, chapter 13, verse 10 to, to 17, and I refer to him today as Dr. Luke because he was a medical doctor. Uh, by the Holy Spirit, it is sickness is being referred as oppression. In Genesis, there was no sickness at the time of creation. There was no death until the fall of man. In the whole Bible, no sickness is described as a blessing. And if you come up uh, where it is described as a blessing, you just come and tell me. But I believe there is nowhere. Nobody whom you see is a sick person and you tell that person you are blessed. If you hear somebody telling you you are blessed because you are sick, then know that that person is wishing you to go to the grave very fast. Jesus had healing and deliverance ministry. His disciples followed the suit after the day of Pentecost. Jesus commissioned the 72 disciples and gave them power and authority. First of all, to preach the gospel to the kingdom who, uh, of the kingdom which brought spiritual healing. The kingdom of God mostly brings the spiritual healing. There is also the issue of casting out demons, healing the sick, cleansing the lepers, raising the dead, and that is what we normally call the physical healing. We also note that the Apostle Luke was a doctor, as I put it, and it was uh, led through the scriptures, through the book of Colossians chapter 4, verse 14, when the, the Apostle Paul was sending greetings, he referred to him as a doctor. We also note that sometimes we get healed, and naturally we uh, we are healed. You do not understand how you got healed. Maybe you got a homer, but somehow you got healed. Maybe you've got a wood or a cut somewhere, and naturally it gets healed. So you do not even understand how it gets healed, but the medics will tell you about the tissues, about uh, how uh, it, it comes about, at the end of the day you get healed. But there is not that natural healing. There is also the spiritual healing, which most of the times we, as not as medics, but as doctors in the house of God, praise the name of the Lord, we minister the spiritual healing. When we speak to you the word of God, maybe you came into the house of God discouraged. Maybe you came when you had stress and even burnout. Maybe you came when you had worries and you go home feeling that at least I have, a, I have something. That is what we normally call the spiritual healing. Even being born again. I remember the one who was presenting in the morning, he mentioned about being born again so that at least you can feel now the spiritual healing. There is also the emotional healing. The, 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 the emotional healing uh, comes when one feels that maybe you are guilty and confess like the way David did in the book of uh, Psalm 32. And he said, finally and con I confess all my sins to you and stop to hide my guilt 
I said I will confess my rebellion to the Lord uh, the, and you forgive me. All my guilt is gone. You see, this is a psalm where David had sinned against God, yes? But he felt he was guilty and he had to confess so that he could get healed. Praise the name of the Lord. So that was the emotional healing part of it. Sometimes when we think about sickness, I normally say sometimes it is in the mind. That sometimes you feel you are down. You are sick. Or you visit a hospital and you find that you are going to check on a doctor. Sijui kama nyinyi mwesaya enda hospitali, ulikuwa mgojwa, unataka kuona daktari, unakuta wengine wagojwa kuliko wewe, hata unasema nimerudi nyumbani. Bwana asifiwe. Praise the name of the Lord. So sometimes it is in the mental. And for sure when you go home by faith, you get healed. At the same time, you can get healed. I mean, you can get sick mentally. Praise the name of the Lord. Mentally, I mean, I read somewhere, kuna mtu moja alieda wakapanga wakiwa watukumi. Wakasema huyu tunataka awe mugonjwa. It was a research done. I mean, they were trying to get a research. Wakasema ukienda kwake muambie vile ya naonekana. Sasa wakwanza akaenda, unajua wewe fulani? You have lost a lot of weight. Siju unakana mnagani? You don't look the way you are. I mean, wewe, wewe ijinia, how, how, lakini siwe naambia. Mwana sifiwe. How kai vile, wapili ya kakuja, haka ongeza mengine hata mabaya kuriko hiyo. Watatu na wakumi ya kamuambia, you are supposed maybe to be in the world. Na kusema ukweli, wakumi akimaliza kuogea, the person was sick. Praise the name of the Lord. Sometimes, people can talk about you, not only sickness, and you find yourself in it. When it is a negative way. But it's still, something can be spoken in a positive way, and that is why we say and we preach the message of hope to uplift you so that you can be able, even when you look down, we uplift you. Praise the name of the Lord. Ata watoto wetu wakiwa shule na ye diako naba karibu ya muisho na huwe wa muisho hakufanya mutihani. Wala sifiwe. You still encourage that young one or that student to nabambia my son you can make it. Bwana sifiwe. Praise the name of the Lord. Even in the medical field, you do not go, and especially in, the, in, in, in our African context. Unajua wazungu wanaenda, wanafanyia mutu ibada, wanamuabia, unabakisha siku bili, unabakisha siku tatu. Eh? Nini, munawabia kwa watu hivyo, unabakisha siku? <laughs> not really in Africa. Bwana sifiwe. We go and encourage people. And even if you know this person, is dying. But remember, even if that person is dying, a miracle can happen. Praise the name of the Lord. We have had testimonies. Even people, I mean, people are discouraged and they lost, they've lost hope. And even the medics have said now this person is prepared for, for the death, prepare for every CD. But two years down the line, ten years down the line, that person is healed and healed totally. Praise the name of the Lord. So what, what am I saying? It is good for us to understand even if we are talking about our bodies, there are some issues and areas that we see the miraculous things because God is our healer being performed. God can be able to perform his own miracles. What causes sickness? My sister and the, the other one who was there, Dr. Ali Wasubuina, Yule Amekua, Ametaja, quite a number of these. And when I was trying to think about what normally happens, I could see even oversleeping. Kulala sana, inaweza kosa, mutu kukojeka. And even lack of sleeping, bwana sifiwe. Iyo kulala sana ni mimi ni meongeza. Lakini oversleeping, <laughs> I mean, uh, <laughs> lakini over, overworking, and uh, lack of sleep, lack of sleep, overworking, it can cause you to, 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 uh, to have a disease. Even the, the eating habits, 
we, the, she talked about balanced diet. Many a times, you have got a lot of money. Nata kama hauna ukona shaba. Which can be able to have the balanced diet. Bwana sifiwe. Na balanced diet ni nini? Kama kuna madodo, kama kuna sukuma, kama kuna ugali. That is balanced diet. Sini kwa ni daktari. Bwana sifiwe. He megine makubwa. Ati mulasema. Unafikiri ya wale watu wanakura ati sijui wanakura chips na hile kuku ya kuzuguka di wanakura balanced diet. Sumu kabisa. Wanakura sumu. Lakini wale wanakura kura kuku ya kenyeji hile ya kule nyumbani. At least better. But at least balanced diet. Lakini watoto wetu sasa akikula sijui chips. Akule sijui nini. Akule pizza. Akule nini. Sasa ati ni mutoto wa watajiri. Ujue eh, at the end of the day unamutaharisha kupata uwojwa. Pana sifiwe. Praise the name of the Lord. We think about balanced diet. The way we eat. Sometimes when we live in polluted areas. And we thank God because our dear sister also mentioned about uh, we are lucky. We do not have smokers all over because they could be affecting us. We also think about uh, having time of recreation. To see what we kufanya kazi 24-7, let's have a time of rest and also recreation. Recreation si kukaa kwa nyuba, buwana sifiwe. Recreation ni kutembea na kutumia pesa kidogo, buwana sifiwe. Hello? Bwana sifiwe. Na kutumia nini? Pesa kidogo. Kama ni pahali enda kula vizuri na usiangalie umekula pesa gapi. Because not all the times. Kwa sababu ukisema hautakula, kuna watu watakuja kukula hiyo pesa yako na watakula ukiwa kwa kaburi. Bwana sifiwe. Na wengine wakufe kwa sababu ya hiyo pesa kwa sababu ni mingi sana. Bwana sifiwe. Kwa hivyo tu, tu, tuende pahali inje, peleka mtu wako inje, ata wenda, enda kula vizuli, kaa vizuli. Ata vile unavaa, bwana sifiwe. I normally tell people, usiweke hii mwili kuwa inavaa matabala na pesa hiko. Unavaa smart. Praise the name of the Lord. Unakula smart, unavaa smart. Kama uko na, na pesa ya kununua gali, usiede migu, lakini tena, Usiede na gari sana lazima utembe dio. <laughs> Bwana asifiwe. Kwa sababu Mungu atakuuliza kwa nini ulikuwa unatembea mguu wakati gari unaweza nunua. Bwana asifiwe. Praise the name of the Lord. Kuna mambo mengine ambayo lazima tuifuatilie na tufanye kwa sababu huko biguni ni kitu kidogo tu itafanya usiende. Bwana asifiwe. The way I see it. Because the word of God is talking about this is the temple of the Lord. Do you not know in 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 19 to 20 Do you not know that your bodies are temples of the living God who is in you who you have received from God whom you are you 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 are not your own you are bought at a price therefore honor God with your bodies That is why we were saying the presence I used to go I don't go there anymore even the things I used to eat I don't to eat them any anymore and that is why Dr. we eat balanced diet so that we can be able to survive. Mind about what you eat. Mind about uh, what you put on. Not just your dress, your, your choice. Just imagine, kama mchugaji ya mekuja asubuhia leo, akiwa na kaptura na t-shirt. <laughs> na nakuja kwa madhabahu. Tuseme hii kuwa labda ina, ina nikava. Lakini naonekana nikitoka kwa gari yangu nikiingia kwa ofisi na kaptura na nini? Kesho yake askofu atakuwa ameambia huyu mtu tuondolee. Atuoni kama ana kichwa mzuri. Bwana sivi. <laughs> my dress my Because you are holy temple of the Lord. Mind what you say. Mind what even you think. Mind where you take your body. Bwana sivi. Usiwe mtu wa kuangalia pahali unaingia kama watu wanaona. Unaangalia pande hii, unaangalia pande hii, alafu unachomoka. Bwana, si mnajua ni wapi? <laughs> Bwana asifiwe. Where we take ourselves is important. So what we are, we are supposed to do is to know that when we do what is right, when we eat what is right, when we obey what the doctors tell us, let me tell you how atakosa kasi. 
Bwana asifiwe. Lakini mimi siombi mkose kazi. Unajua unajua Yesu kwa sababu afukuzwe kule alifukuza the pigs. Nakumbuka. Hello. Zilienda wapi? Kwa maji. Lakini zilikuwa zimekare a lot of demons the region from one person. Labda huyo mtu akapelekwa kwa daktari akakula pesa mingi sana. Kwa hivyo Yesu alifukuzwa kwa sababu moja akawa daktari. <laughs> Bwana asifiwe. Madaktari wakampagia mipango. Sasa msitupagie mipango wakati tuta tutaombea watu wapone. Bwana asifiwe. Wakawa matekereza mikate bakery zikawa nyingi. Eh, zikawa bakery ya kienda kuna watu wanakula, wanashiba, wanaenda wapi? Wanaenda nyumbani. Watu wa bakery wasema hii kasi kweli itaisha. Bwana asifiwe. Lakini alifanya kazi yake. What am I trying to say? When we do the right things, then for sure our bodies will be healthy. When ukija kanisani hubiriwe, ukuja kwa Yesu, ufanye kama vile tunakwambia, even the emotional. Ile ya dani ya kusema, yani you feel guilty, you confess. Because everything comes from the mind. When you worry, I believe each and every one of us, if we start walling, that is the beginning of our stress. Praise the name of the Lord. And from there, when we are stressed, we are depressed. When we are depressed, then we are oppressed. Then from there, sometimes we become possessed. May God help us so that we can be able to walk this journey in the divine healing holistically in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit.